In this video, we're going to revisit a problem we considered before, three seek bars being used to control the amount of red, green, and blue in a color. And we were also displaying those amounts in text view, so we needed a relationship between a seek bar and a text view. And we're going to do that relationship in a different way. This time we're going to utilize the parent-child relationship of them within the XML layout. The code for this app can be found at the URL seen. Okay, so here is the ABD showing this three seek bars and a text view at the top displaying the color and we can change the amount of color of each, the red, the green, and the blue using these seek bars. It is displayed over here in these text views and also the color is updated and there will be an array that is also updated. So let's have a look at the design first. So there is a text view at the top which has the color and then a seek bar text view, seek bar text view, seek bar text view. So one text view at the top and seek bar text view compares. And previously we had relied on a naming scheme that we call this one SB underscore zero and this one TV underscore zero. And we're still going to rely on that naming scheme to be able to loop over and do something to all the seek bars, like give them a, an event handler. But uh, we, we're also using, exploiting this relationship to move from the seek bar, the, the seek bar event handler and grab the corresponding text view. So we were sort of getting a hold of this ID and parsing it and grabbing the zero and reconstructing this. And instead, this time we're going to work with, since, since this layout is XML, it has a, all the elements have a sort of parent-child relationship. And the way we've arranged this is it's seek bar text view, seek bar text view, seek bar text view. So the, the text view corresponding to the seek bar is the, the next child, the next sibling in and so we're going to exploit that relationship rather than do this sort of uh, string parsing and get and grab the zero. So just another approach. So, but that is the design. So let's go over to the code. All right, so we're doing some work outside on create the, the handler of the seek bar event. I'm going to define outside of on create as a separate function. So therefore, I want uh, some things declared outside of onCreate, so they will be available in that function. One is the text view at the top. I cannot initialize it here. I can declare it here, so it'll be available to everyone, but I can't really initialize it here other than to set it to null. And therefore, it had to be a var, not a val. I usually do these connect to the interface things as a val, but this one is going to change. It's going to change from null to something else. I'm going to have a simple array of integers, uh, some color. I started at that full on red, half the amount of green and no blue, which is sort of an orangey color. In on create, here is my loop. I'm setting up the text views with their initial value and setting up the seek bars and giving them their handler. Make a little more space here, okay. So I'm looping 0, 1, 2 over these uh, indices, if you will. I am creating the name of the seek bar SB underscore 0, then 1, then 2. I'm finding it's behind the scenes ID. And then I'll call that resource ID. And then I'm getting the seek bar and adding, giving it a listener. And the listener is defined below outside of font create. Um, and I'm also setting the progress of each seek bar to match that array I have at the top. I think previously I had just relied on the designer and the coder sort of coordinating 
but this time I sort of forced it to update to whatever the uh, the coder said at the start. Um, same thing for the text views. Um, getting a text view, I'm creating its name, then I'm getting its ID based on its name, then I'm getting the actual text view, and then I'm setting its text. Uh, the text is an integer, I want it cast as a string, so I can use it to set the text, so hence the quote, quote. Other ways to do that, but that's that's one. Um, establishing the relationship between uh, the layout TV color and my code TV color, and I'm setting its background color based on the array I have. Here's the zero, the one, and the two, so originally start off as orange, and the question mark is because it was nullable. Uh, this is saying that if, if TV color is not null, then go ahead and change its color. Here is the listener. This is the part uh, that is going to work with that parent-child relationship. Uh, the listener has an argument, which is the seek bar, so I know which seek bar it was. And then here I'm asking who the seek bar's parent is, and I know that it is in a constraint layout, so my layout is the constraint layout, which is the parent of the seek bar. Now I'm asking, I could have just said I know that I know the, the constraint layout is the is the parent and just sort of gone straight there. But I just asked the seek bar who its parent was. Um, now I'm asking that parent, what's the index of the child? So that seek bar again is the child. My layout is the parent, and I'm asking the parent of your, you know, the order of your children, which which one is this? So that first. There was that uh, text view at the top, so that was the you know the first child or the zero of child, and then the next seek bar would be probably one, and then on down. And then I am going to the layout now and asking for its child at the next index. So I asked the seek bar what its index was, and then I go to the parent and grab the next and the child at the next index, which is the corresponding text view. Now you can arrange in the layout for things to look like they're next to each other, but not be next to each other in the XML document. Here we're relying not on how it looks, but on how the XML uh, file is arranged. So they have to be next to each other in the XML file. Um, they don't necessarily have to be next to each other in 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 what you see and what a user sees and then here i am sort of updating the text of that uh, text view that correspond that was the next child so that sort of was the corresponding text view and i've set some tags i forgot to point that out to make my life easy i gave the seat bars a tag so i call this one zero one two that sort of saves me some string manipulation. So I grabbed its tag and converted it to an integer. And then I set, this is my array of the three colors, 255, 127, zero to start off with. And I'm using the tag to grab me that index and setting it equal to I, which in this handler, I is the progress. I've commented out some other ways to do things. So download the code and look at that if you want. And then here is the updating of the color, sort of based on the array, all three elements of the array. We're not doing anything at the start of sliding the seek bar. We're not doing anything at the end of sliding the seek bar. If you wanted to do anything that required some time rather than some sort of immediate updating, then you might save that for when you stop. But I'm not doing anything there. I'm just doing some fast things while it's sliding. Okay, that's it.